Orpheus. Once upon a time, there lived a great musician in Greece called Orpheus. He could make the most beautiful music ever heard when he played his lyre. Even the birds would come by his window to listen to him play. Orpheus lived with his wife Eurydice, who loved him very deeply. Orpheus was also madly in love with Eurydice. They really were made for each other. One day, though, while Eurydice was picking flowers in the woods, a snake bit her. She died at once. The life of Orpheus changed completely. He was so sad he could no longer play the lyre. One day, he decided to take action. I'll go to Hades, the god of the underworld, and get Eurydice back he said to his friends. But the underworld had many dangers, and no one had ever returned from there. But Orpheus had his mind set, and there he went to Hades with his lyre. When he reached the river of death, he asked the boatman to carry him to the other side of the river. The boatman refused, only the dead can pass, he said to Orpheus. But Orpheus started to play his lyre. The boatman was so overwhelmed that he agreed to take Orpheus to the other side of the river. Reaching the gates of Hades, Orpheus found a huge three-headed dog, the fierce Cerberus. Quickly, Orpheus started to play his lyre again, and Cerberus was magically enchanted, allowing Orpheus to sneak in. There, Orpheus met Hades and Persephone, the king and queen of the underworld, who were surprised to see him. What are you doing here, mortal? Hades asked. While playing his lyre, Orpheus told Hades how much he loved Eurydice. You, Hades, once fell madly in love with your wife, too, Orpheus pointed out. Since everybody dies, you'll get our soul back anyway, he continued. So why not let Eurydice live for a few more years? Hades and Persephone were touched by Orpheus's words and music, and Hades agreed to free Eurydice, but with one condition. As a token of your belief in me, Eurydice must walk behind you as you travel back to the upper world, Hades said, and you must not look back at Eurydice until you have exited the underworld. Orpheus agreed. The couple began their ascent. Orpheus felt tentative as he didn't know whether he could trust Hades. Soon, he could see the exit. Orpheus stepped out of the cave and into the light, but just as he was out, he turned back to confirm if Eurydice was indeed behind him. Orpheus had disobeyed Hades, and the only thing Orpheus heard was a fading, I love you, as Eurydice was pulled back to the underworld. He spent his remaining days among birds and trees, playing the most beautiful music ever heard. Some say the spirits of Orpheus and Eurydice ended up finding each other after many years and are still together. The End